The first thing I want to do with you all is I want to discuss the definition and your understanding of the word happiness. Because just like the word success, we can't really address or talk about something if we don't know what we're talking about. So I, I don't know if I've mentioned it in a previous lecture um, as far as success. And uh, a very critical fundamental part of being successful at anything is first defining what the term success means to you. And so I'm not going to talk about success too much here, but there's an overlap in a sense of the way you go about both of these things, happiness and success, have to do with your first, your understanding or your definition of what those things imply. So this is a great quote from Dale Carnegie, and it, it really puts in perspective the difference between the two things, but also maybe that there's a relationship. And and we'll talk about some misconceptions as to what, to what leads to happiness. And one of the misconceptions of what leads to happiness is getting something. In other words, being successful at successfully accomplishing something. And so he, he says here, he says, success is getting what you want. If you want something and you achieve it, you can consider that successful. Now, that doesn't imply then, that, though, that when you are successful or you get what you want, you will be happy about that. And we know this because we can look at... Uh, Billionaires, multimillionaires, successful CEOs, people who have accomplished world, ch world championships, individuals who have reached the pinnacle of whatever they've wanted to accomplish or achieve or attain, and they've become successful, but they're miserable, they're depressed, they're not happy, even though they've achieved or attained everything they've wanted to. So success can be defined as achieving what you want, but the thing you need to remember is that doesn't, it's not implied and it shouldn't be applied or assumed that happiness is a part of that process. That just achieving something or being successful at something, happiness is a part of that. You might experience some joy in initially, but happiness is not some, some permanent byproduct that will come from an achievement or an accomplishment or a success. So success, yes, is getting what you want, but let's look at the flip side of what happiness is, according to Dale Carnegie. Happiness is wanting what you get. So remember, happiness is a decision, not a condition. It's a choice to become content. I like the word content. I'll talk more about that here in a moment. It's a choice to become content and okay with what you have and what you get. You don't have to be satisfied per se, but you can be okay with where you are and then go earn more. So don't confuse these two things. Can you find happiness with, like I said last class, I think, or in a previous lecture, can you find happiness with what you have, where you are right now, and then move forward to try and become successful or achieve your goals or do whatever you want to do in a happy state? as opposed to thinking that if I achieve my goals and I am successful, then the happy state will come. Wrong. So can you achieve happiness and a happy state now as you set out to be successful? And almost just go searching for the cherry on top of you already being content. You can always want more, there's nothing wrong with that. But happiness is deciding to be happy now with where you are and what you have. And, and happiness is the term that I'm gonna define because that's what we need to look at because there's a misconception as to what that means, the definition of happiness. And what I'm going to encourage you to do is look at happiness in a couple of different ways. You'll hear the word happiness thrown around, but let me ask you all, before I dissect this word, how many of you all, just by a show of hands, would consider yourself happy right now? You feel happy right now. Just by a show of hands, you feel happy right now. I want to see the hands, just I want to see the percentage of the room that you would state, I'm happy right now. Um, let's see, maybe 50% of the room or so. Um, somebody who put your hand up, tell me why you're happy right now. I had a great weekend. Everything was going good so far. Define great and good. What was great about it? What was the experience or what, what happened or what was it that led to you being happy right now? I had a good workout. Then I went diving all weekend with my family. So. Very good. We'll come back to that. Okay, so that's why he's saying that he's happy now. And I'm going to talk about that. So what, what else? Who else is happy right now? You got a Coke, is that why? <laughs> well, yeah, but no. Okay, so this is, I'm trying to get a, a, a diverse, uh, go ahead, tell me why though. Um, my marriage is, we're at a good, reasonable place in my marriage and my kids are healthy. My son is off his meds and off of therapy. Wow, so is that something that just happened recently, last few days, over the weekend, or you it just... It was a process and then they finally made everything this weekend. Wait, this weekend? So you've got some information that was meaningful enough to you to you consider to be, okay, cool. Anybody have anything different than these two things? Because these are in the direction of where I'm going to take you all. But that's not necessarily why, that's not necessarily what I'm looking for as to why some people consider themselves to be happy. And they had about 50% of the room up. Anybody else happy for a different reason? And remember, there's no wrong answer here. Tell me. Why not? Why not? Okay, another decision to be happy. Good. Anybody? Um, like 
why specifically? Yeah. I mean, granted, there's a lot going on personally in my life. But you're able to manage it? So I mean, I can't, I can't tell what's going to happen in the next few No, months, no. But it okay. seems all manageable. Right. So your ability to control what's in front of you at the moment, you feel happy about that? Yeah. Okay. And Anybody? The food too. Say it again? Maybe the food too. See, that's what I'm looking for. <laughs> okay? Because when most people think about or talk about happiness, what they're really talking about is pleasure. They're not talking about the things that you all actually contributed, and that's what I want to decipher. You and you, and actually you gave me a decision and a choice, but until we got to food, the responses that we heard, I don't consider those to be happy. I don't consider that to be happy. I don't consider what you described to be a feeling of happiness, or you, feeling of happiness. What I consider that to be, and what the book defines that as really actually is gratification. Authentic happiness, a.k.a. gratifications. And gratifications in a sense of, it's not a pleasurable experience. Everything you're feeling, the joy or the happiness that you're feeling, is not based on food. It's not based on a sensation. The joy or the happiness you're feeling is based on an experience. Something that's meaningful to you. Same here. Something's meaningful and there you, for you feel a sense of fulfillment, gratification, an authentic happiness. As opposed to someone who maybe came in and you just had a great breakfast that tasted good. You just listened to your favorite song. Um, you just made out with your boyfriend or your girlfriend. Those things are oftentimes what people associate, and you might think, yeah, yeah, I'd be happy if I did all that too. <laughs> but that's what I'm looking for, and that's what I want you to look at here, because oftentimes, and, and, and thank you for serving that up for me in terms of food, but the first example you gave me was a sense of accomplishment and achievement and gratification in, in your own ability to feel on top of your world right now at the moment at least. That's a sense of gratification too. And what this chapter is going to do is make the distinction between these forms of happiness, which are on the end of authentic happiness, meaningful gratifications that no one can take from you, and food, music, sex, things that are pleasurable experiences. Most people are unhappy because they associate their happiness to a pleasurable experience. And what you're going to find is the error in that is Pleasurable experiences don't last because they're based on your sensations. So the big distinction in this chapter is the distinction between gratifications and pleasurable experiences. So you guys seem to be a little bit more of a sophisticated group in terms of your responses or your answers. Yet, you still may have in the back of your mind this paradigm about happiness, which is you're supposed to feel good or feel better, or the goal is to feel better. That feel better is what I want to address, because feel better could be experience a pleasurable experience right now, or be more gratified with my life and where I am and what's going on around me. Those are two different things.